Okay. Anthony Richmond is fighting to build a solid foundation. He wants to keep the title ah. he loves most. <laughs> greatest dad. Absolutely. It's important for me to be around long enough, have the energy, have the strength. You know, I mean, she's only three now. Let's go, let's go. But Anthony and his trainer, Jacob Johnson, are contending with obstacles out of their control. Black men are hit hardest by high blood pressure, some of the highest in the world. It's a silent killer that often comes without symptoms <laughs> or warning. It's almost like it seems like it creeps up on people. It's never too late as long as you're still breathing, but you know, waiting until something really serious happens. Hollywood director John Singleton's death was a wake-up call. So yeah, I had to get to a point where I was like, okay, I need to look at myself and, and use it as a moment to say, no, I need to apply a lot of what I teach and what I work with other people on. It's never easy. In this room, Dr. Mosey Bennett with the Minneapolis Heart Institute has seen the worst. As a, as a heart failure cardiologist, I see kind of the end stage, the end results of uncontrolled blood pressure. That's uh, advanced heart disease, a heart that doesn't pump that well anymore. We know heart disease is leading cause of death. Bennett says a blood pressure of 120 over 80 is ideal. More than 40% of black men and women have high blood pressure, compared to 29% of the general population. Plus, they're more likely to die and have a stroke at a younger age because of it. But why? Mosey says some of it has to do with the environment and genetics. There's a gene which was identified that has been linked to um, a sensitivity to salt in African Americans. For people who carry the gene, something as little as one extra gram of salt, that's only half a teaspoon, could raise blood pressure significantly. The first place to start would be knowing what your blood pressure is. Family history is just one part of it. Even if your blood pressure has been normal in the past, it should be checked every year. I don't know because I'm, I'm adopted. Part of the reason why I'm in, I'm in the fitness industry and like to work out is to prevent anything that could happen. And I was able to drop my blood pressure by 10 points on the top and the bottom numbers. I knew my blood pressure was high because I checked my blood pressure and I have a nurse client who comes in and she checks my blood pressure. And it was in the stage two hypertension range, about 140 over 90. Since we do have this gene, it's just very important to teach our youth, especially to be more healthier, be more active. Two more. As Anthony keeps fighting, he has motivation. Uh I want to be around until they're old, till they have grandkids of their own. Help! It's the hot lava! Hurry! Guiding his daughter. Hurry! Every step of the way. Oh. Adrian brought us Carol Let's Evan News. Okay. <laughs> what a good dad. Just in time for Father's Day, there is a free blood pressure screening tomorrow at the Golden Time Cafe on Selby Avenue. It's from noon to one, and all are welcome not just dads. Well, if you've been spending